Tai. I'd like to thank everyone who's taken the time to uh, listen to this video and uh, for everyone who's taken the time to uh, uh, read my blog and I hope that uh, the information has been helpful to some people out there. Um, and I'd like to explain to you exactly uh, what I'm doing in this video right now. Well, I wanted to put this video together uh, to really demonstrate uh, my iMac G4 hack for people. Uh, to show really what it's about, uh, what parts are involved, and uh, exactly what it does. And really the intent of this is not so much to create an all-in-one computer, but really to show uh, how you could convert the signal which goes through the uh, iMac into the dome uh, into a signal that's use, that is a DVI compatible signal, so it could be plugged into any HDMI or uh, DVI source. Uh, you know, what you do with that afterwards is obviously, you know, uh, up to you to do, but obviously there's a lot of people out there who love the design of the iMac G4, and um, as the PowerPC processor, which was originally included, is really no longer supported, even by Apple, um, it's, uh, it's nice to know that there is a way to, uh, to upgrade the computer and use it with modern hardware. Now, that could be, uh, again, an all-in-one, or it could be hooking it up to an external machine, uh, or a notebook computer. And I wanted really to show you know what's involved, how complex it is, and also uh, to talk a little bit about the method uh, that I use which is uh, this uh, DVI connector method. And I'll show it to you uh, as I get into the parts list. But I think seeing it um, and seeing what this uh, part is will show you why it's so advantageous to go this route as opposed to cutting a DVI or HDMI cable and then soldering each uh, wire together piece by piece. Well, to start talking about the iMac G4 um, in terms of the hacks, there's really four uh, different variations of this. The first one is the 15-inch. I myself has never done it. I do have the uh, pinout on my blog, uh, which has been uh, provided to me courtesy of uh, PG70. Uh, the second is uh, the 17-inch 800 megahertz NEC. Now, why does it matter what NEC it is? Well, it turns out that while the pins are the same, the colors that Apple used to denote what each pin is changes. So if you're only looking at the bottom half, you're not going to know exactly where it came from. So if you want to look at which color represents which wire, you have to know which neck you have. So the original older 17 inch, the 800 megahertz neck, um, the pinout's available on my blog. The third is the newer 17 inch neck, which is the 1 or 1.25 gigahertz neck. Uh, that's actually what you see uh, in front of you now, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. Um, and then the fourth is the 20-inch, uh, which I've also demonstrated on my blog, and there's only really one type of that. Now, these all do vary. Uh, there's some different voltages, especially the 20-inch um, is, uh, is significantly different because it does have a higher uh, power requirements, but really the concept is all the same. So. I'm hoping that by seeing one kind of uh, in a video method and seeing it visually uh, will help everyone understand all the methods uh, better. So um, I do want to say that um, again that I'm really only going to be focusing on making turning this neck that you see in front of you uh, into a DVI uh, compliant source uh, as well as uh, uh, being able to power it. Um, and then, you know, uh, in terms of how to finalize it, in terms of really soldering things together and finalizing it, I'm not going to be doing here, but I will show you how to uh, get the image onto DVI. I do have to say and issue uh, a warning, of course. Um, I've tried to make this as easy as possible, uh, but I do want to say that this is uh, still an advanced hack. Um, so know what you're getting into. Uh, the equipment is old. I mean, we're talking about a computer that's a decade old, um, and so the inverter the wiring, the LCD itself, uh, the backlights, I mean, these are all years and years old. So, you know, even by no fault of your own, you can burn something out. And even if a, a wire comes into contact, even for a moment, some pins are too close together, you can damage the equipment. So, um, of course, if there, you do have any warranty, uh, this will certainly void it. Uh, I doubt that anyone does at this point, but if you do, I do want to say that this is proceed at your own risk and that, uh, again, results may vary. Um, in terms of uh, we're using this really not in its intended way, so uh, all I could say is that my oldest one so far has uh, made it four months without any problems or signs of problems, but again, I cannot speak for the longevity of this. So 
I do want to start to show you what I have uh, in front of you, and um, I want to start with a parts list. Um, the parts list is actually uh, available on my blog. If you go to the 17-inch uh, mod, uh, you'll see um, that I do have a, uh, a parts list written there, and I'm going to go through uh, the parts list and show you what I have here before I get into the actual uh, hack itself. First thing I just want to um, talk about is uh, there's a post on my blog called My Two Necks, and uh, you know, th those two necks refer to the two 17 inches uh, because when I first did the 17 inch mod, some people were telling me that they were having completely different results. And, you know, it turns out that there's actually two versions of this neck. Again, I found out what the part numbers were and what they corresponded to in terms of um, the, where they came from, one being the 800 megahertz. And this one in front of you is a 17 inch uh, 1 or 1 1.25 uh, gigahertz neck. So, you know, just to um, uh, just tell you, you know, how to kind of differentiate them. Well, for one, my setup here, of course, is going might be different than yours in that you see the domes over there and the LCDs over here. So the computer is actually disassembled, and these are actually parts all from a different computer. I mean, I don't have an altogether 17-inch anymore. So um, I was gonna put it together to kind of closely mimic what most people might experience, but. I thought it might be uh, much easier to see instead of working inside the dome uh, to be more wide open here. So just keep in mind that your wires will be likely, um, you know, stretching out uh, from the dome, which I have the neck completely free here. But again, the process is all the same. So, you know, just to you know tell you, this is uh, on my on my blog. I call this kind of uh, you know neck A, and uh, you know one thing, uh, a couple ways to differentiate them. You know, at the top, um, you'll actually notice that there's a um, um, a metal kind of connector here, while the other one uh, didn't have this kind of silver connector. It had a more standard beige uh, JE connector as opposed to this kind of uh, silver tone. So the, the 800 megahertz NX just had a, a beige hue to it. Also, there is this part, uh, this number that's written right here that does seem to be fairly consistent for the 1 and 1.25 gigahertz, and that's this um, this uh, 620 So, um, uh, again, I can't say 100% that that's going to be consistent throughout, but that does seem to be a pretty good indicator so far uh, that, it would that you're dealing with a 1 and 1.25 gigahertz neck. Again, also just, you know, check the, uh, the documentation that came with the computer, if you know, if you just know that's what your neck is, uh, that's probably the easiest and more surefire way to go. Obviously, most of you won't be able to visualize uh, this piece because it will be inside the LCD. So all you'll have coming down is really um, this piece, you know, right here coming into the dome. So inside, we will see that there is actually a, um, um, an, a brown wire as opposed to the orange wire, which is uh, uh, used in the uh, 800 megahertz. But again, that's a, a pretty subtle difference. Um, but again, just make sure when you're doing this that you're using the right neck. Otherwise, uh, you will not get an image if you just follow the colors. So, if you um, if you know my blog, you'll know that the uh, there are tabs on the top, and if you go to the 17-inch guide, I start off with the parts list. So, yeah, I want to take you just through the parts list and kind of what I have here. Um, you know, that kind of represents it. And I just also want to say that this is not the definitive all you know way of doing it there are other ways there are uh, variations you can use probably countless variations so uh, just because you do it a different way does not mean it's gonna, not going to work um, but again this is the way I've chosen to do it and I hope um, this gives you ideas so again it starts off with the uh, IMAC G4 itself its components again it, this is broken down the domes there the LCDs there actually have the inverter uh, outside which is there you know, the neck, obviously, in front right here. So, 